Spherex was designed to operate for at least two years, but the team says if all goes well, it could operate much longer. Expecting deployment here in just Spherex a few seconds. Separation confirmed. And there we are, the call out, and now you can see that there on your screen. Spirex is drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage, confirming deployment. Woohoo! It took everything in me not to talk <laughs> over you. Yay! <laughs> so exciting. Are you, are you kidding? Farah is at the hostess right now, oh, jumping oh. up and down. So, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, again, great live views. It's always nice to see. And, and again, this is a, is a great opportunity to, for the spacecraft team to, to see it happen in real time. So uh, now the spacecraft has a three-minute pass over a ground station in Antarctica. You might have heard it mentioned a couple of times in the broadcast. Troll is what that ground station is called. And the team team hopes to confirm an initial signal with the spacecraft. Yeah, that initial signal will primarily be gathering engineering data for its health and status at this time. Uh, and once they confirm that and that it's be ready to be operational, SphereX will then transition into its science phase, uh, starting with calibration and test observations over the next few days and weeks that Farah had mentioned. And uh, another pass over another ground station in Norway uh, at about T plus 80 minutes. Uh, so about 40 minutes from now, uh, they will start working on that and confirm that everything looks great on Spherex. So we're just waiting to hear that initial engineering data uh, check uh, from on AOS uh, for Spherex, uh, where they start receiving that engineering data just to make sure everything is good there at Troll. But now it's Punch's turn. Yeah. So they're going to deploy in two batches, right? So the first two are going to deploy around T plus 52 minutes and 16 seconds. So that's about 45 seconds from now. And then the other at T plus 5307. Again, some great views that we're seeing here from the second stage, looking down on Earth, carrying four punch spacecraft. And as you talked about those four punch spacecraft deploying in two sets, uh, one of the reasons we are doing that is to uh, separate the sets so that we can get them started on their way and make sure they're heading in the right directions and avoid the second stage and anything else uh, that might be in the path. So uh, keeping punch uh, to make sure that everything is successful, uh, deploy one set and deploy a second set a few minutes later, a few seconds later. Um, that will help uh, everything with deployment tonight and, and call this mission to an end, getting uh, punch on its Nippy way for its science. Two, separation confirmed. Wow, look at that. <laughs> actually see them. That's great. And we heard that, that call out and... That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Punch drifting away from the Falcon 9 second stage. That is the first of two payload deployments. And we are expecting the next one coming up in just about 30 seconds or so. Yeah, I'll tell you, seeing that, uh, uh, that, that was just as incredible as seeing Spherex <laughs> uh, separate uh, those two satellites of separating and then the next two coming up getting that constellation out there so punch can do their science that's very important and i know the punch team is is looking forward to that yeah and we are deploying these in a bit of a different orientation um, from spherex we did see spherex drift away uh, very slowly from the second stage um, and these punch payloads are going in a different direction so wifi one and three separation confirmed Look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> that Incredible. is just amazing. Yeah, the second batch right there. It is really cool to see. And again, I just know that the spacecraft teams really appreciate this opportunity to see this happen in real time. So what an incredible, incredible view.